Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish and I would like to invite you to join us today as we combine the past and present in a musical visit to Charlottesville, Virginia. History comes alive as we visit this city rich in American history. Thank you for joining us today on the Joy of Music as we bring you sights and sounds of Charlottesville, Virginia. Music on today's program comes from a live concert held at the First Presbyterian Church in Charlottesville, Virginia. This historic church was formed in 1839, and the present building was dedicated in October 1956. The organ of the First Presbyterian Church was built by the Cassavant Frere of Canada in 1995 and contains three manuals four divisions, and 61 stops.
We are fortunate to have with us for the first time on The Joy of Music, the Alberti Ensemble. Taking their name from Virginian musician and teacher, Francesco Alberti, with whom Mr. Jefferson studied. We are pleased to welcome them to the program today as they play in the beautiful Rotunda. University of Virginia in Charlottesville is the legacy of Thomas Jefferson. The campus of the university is filled with a sense of history. The university itself is truly Mr. Jefferson's creation. In the closing years of his life, he not only championed its founding, but also designed its buildings, developed its curriculum, and appointed its first professors. Today, his imprint remains ever-present, especially in the architecture. Interestingly enough, the cornerstone for the first university building was laid in 1817 with Mr. Jefferson, James Madison, and James Monroe all in attendance. stands Monticello, the home of Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States. Monticello is found just outside of Charlottesville, Virginia. It was begun in and around 1770 and designed by Mr. Jefferson himself. The building was completed in 1809 in a complex architectural style with its Greek portico, Roman-style dome, and side terraces. The house takes on an illusion of compactness, even though it is a very large house of 35 rooms.
The gardens of Monticello are beautiful and serene. Thomas Jefferson spent much time on the spacious grounds, reading and writing in peace and tranquility. As was his desire at the end of his life, Jefferson was buried on the grounds of Monticello. were the centerpieces of 18th century hospitality. They served as hotels for weary travelers with food, drinks, and lodging, or just as a meeting place for the locals. The historic Mickey Tavern was established in 1784 and stands close to Monticello. Today visitors experience the tavern's past through the recreation of 18th century life. You may browse through the general store, learn 18th century dances, or enjoy a delicious southern meal. Yeah. 
In the heart of historic downtown Charlottesville stands Court Square, where Thomas Jefferson and James Monroe practiced law. The town's first taverns, which were meeting houses in Mr. Jefferson's day, shops and small businesses, evolved around Court Square and bring the same vitality now as they did 200 years ago. The monuments of both Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson also stand in different areas of the square. We are pleased to welcome to the program today the Choral Ensemble Jubilate, made up of students at the University of Virginia and a ministry of the University Baptist Church. Since 1973, Jubilate has strived for excellence in presenting the best in sacred music. Members participate because they believe in a corporate ministry through music. They are directed by Kevin Holland, and we are pleased to have them on the Joy of Music today.
for joining us today on The Joy of Music, as we have taken you on a musical visit to Charlottesville, Virginia. We hope you have enjoyed the sights and sounds that have shown us a piece of American history and culture. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. <laughs>